Today's home workout with your qualified trainer, Lucy Winnem Reid, is a lose belly fat workout. So, what I wanted to do was create you a really safe, effective workout that was going to help reduce excess belly fat that we refer to as visceral belly fat. So, how it's going to work, we're going to do a very quick little warm up, then we'll go straight into the nine minute lose belly fat workout. So, if you're ready, let's get started. So let's focus on your quick warm up, just follow along. We're just gonna go for eight of these side steps and if you prefer not to hear me talking, then you can simply hit that mute button. And now let's go for eight hamstring curls and this is week two from my free four week lose belly fat plan. And now just give me those eight sunshine arms and I'll leave a link and this in the description below so you can get it, it's completely free. So let's now get into your workout. So here's a preview of the first move. We're gonna start off with doing double knees and we're just taking the opposite elbow over. So we're gonna get ready to come into position. We're gonna start this, we're doing it for 30 seconds. So it's a double knee drive, aim to take that elbow over to reach the opposite knee. So you can see the timer bar there, that represents approximately 30 seconds and we've got your countdown clock for the nine minute workouts. Just keeping that going. So see the next move coming up here. We're gonna stand in a wide stance and we're just gonna reach that upper body and just imagine we're drawing a big circle going from one side to the other. So step the feet wide, knees are bent, tummy is tight, hands together and just imagine you're just drawing a big circle going from one side to the other. So this move here is all about me conditioning through your core, working through your waist. So what we're doing by doing this workout today, we're doing the cardio, but we're also then really strengthening through those abdominals. Nice control. And then you can see your next move coming up. We're just gonna do a knee drive and then an upper body swing across. So drive that knee up, and then you're taking the arms up and over. That's good, drawing that up, nice control. So we've got nine different moves today. Each one we do 30 seconds and re we repeat it twice. That's good, keeping that going. And really feel the power through those abdominals. Your next move is doing exactly the same, just repeating on the opposite side. All right, so let's step that other leg back, draw that knee up, swing over with the arms. And do come and find me on social media. We've got a really lovely group and page, Lisa Squad, and just update me how you're getting on on your health journey. So let's just keep going, drawing that across. So next move is a really nice one. We're gonna up the cardio. We're just doing a side step and a power punch. And let's just go from one side to the other. And what we're doing here in these nine minutes, we're not having any rest periods. So this is how we're gonna get a really effective workout in a short amount of time. And you will be getting fitter and stronger. And the aim is to do this challenge, to do this for the next seven days. And you'll notice each day how much you are improving in your energy, your fitness, and obviously helping to reduce excess belly fat. So next move knees are slightly bent and we're just going to reach from one side to the other and now give me two of those power punches reach across and across so feet should be hip width distance apart and also right now what i want you to do is just think how incredible your body is it is allowing you to move and as your qualified trainer i'm all about wanting you to just focus on not how we look but this is about our health just being the best version of ourselves drawing that knee up and kick. So draw that knee up, kick that leg. So focus on really engaging your core tight as you lift that leg. That's good. Lift, nice control. And you'll also notice you become more flexible in these moves as well. So the next move coming up are just doing these palm presses. So you're gonna stand with your knees slightly bent both hands in front and just draw one arm back as far as you can and a tiny little twist through the upper body and this is really lovely, you'll really feel this working through your waist. It's important that you keep your toes, your knees and your hips pointing forwards. So nice fast power move and really draw that elbow back as far as you can. 
And then the next move we're gonna do, we're gonna do a standing abdominal crunch. You're gonna take both arms above your head and you're gonna draw your knee up and just do a little crunch in. So this one here, we're really working that long muscle at the front of the abdominals. And that's what I want you to do today is just make sure I'm working your entire core and we're doing this as well as working cardiovascularly. So this one is move nine. So what we're gonna do now is repeat all those moves just once more, again, just 30 seconds. So we are now halfway through today's workout. So let's repeat and go back to your double knees for me now and really put power in each of these moves because you and I right now are here to get stronger, get fitter. That's it, drawing that over, doing really well. Double knee, keeping that going, that's good. And really feel that working through the waist as you draw that opposite knee over. All right, that's good, keeping that going. So you can see your next move coming back. We're gonna go back to doing those nice big ab circles. So it's really important, knees are soft, have those feet so they are really nice and wide. Reach those arms round so it's a nice full rotation. And it's really important to work through your fullest range of motion. Draw it round and come back up. That's good. And again, still make sure those knees are slightly bent for me. So next move, step that foot behind, then just drive that knee straight up. Make sure the supporting leg, you're keeping that knee slightly bent and you're aiming to take the arms over and across. And also with this one, it's important, toes, knees and hips stay facing forwards. That way then we're really specifically working through your waist muscles. All right, that's good. And now let's just change, take that to that opposite leg for me and draw that across. So because this workout is just nine minutes, it's using body weight. This is safe for you to do every single day. And what I recommend in this challenge is to do this daily. And it's a really good thing just to find a time of the day that is gonna work for you because then you can make it a habit. And what I want to do is make this a lifestyle for you. All right, so let's just take that to that next move. So we're gonna do those quick cardio steps and those punches and you're reaching that across. And of course, the great thing is every time we work out straight away afterwards, we have more energy, we feel better. So really focus on keeping your core tight as you punch across. Doing really well. And then your next move coming up, we're gonna do those side bends and then reaches over. So let's stand with those feet hip width distance apart, reach over over now punch up and up keep those knees slightly bent for me that's good and what we're doing we're going fast transitions from one move to another and that also gives us a really good effect here at increasing that heart rate so we're just working a little bit harder so next move we're going straight back to those bent knee and then straight leg so let's get ready and just give me that bent knee, straight leg, nice control. And this will also really work on what we refer to as our motor skills, which is really important. So that's mind and muscle connection. And it really gets you thinking about coordination. So you have better agility. We have better reaction time. All right. And knee, straight leg, knee, straight leg up cat goes flying past. I think that was Princess Raisin. All right, so next move now, palm presses. So let's speed these up. So palms stay face forward and just draw that elbow back as far as you can for me, keeping that going. Knees are soft, tummy is pulled in tight. Doing really well. We've got one more move after this. So let's just really focus right now. You are getting stronger, you are getting fitter. Last little bit. All right, so let's get ready now. Take both arms directly above and just draw that knee up and really feel that power. We are working through those abdominal muscles. Just imagine you are pulling down something that's really heavy and you're gonna add that resistance through your core, through those tummy muscles, keeping that going. 
that's good last little bit we're going to keep going until that yellow arrow reaches the top last little bit let's just go for doing a couple more and well done so what i want you to do is just take a nice deep breath in deep breath out that's really good and there is your high five so don't forget download and then you can tick off today for doing your nine minute workout and it's important you stretch so click here and i will see you back on my youtube channel tomorrow